story about something that might have happened um, in that uh, those weeks, those months, those years after Jesus was gone, but people still knew him. And this story is about a man named Bartholomew. We haven't met Bartholomew before. This is someone, someone new. And something that you need to know for this story is that uh, Jesus didn't speak English. Jesus spoke Aramaic, which was an old um, Middle East language. And there's two words in this story that, that come from that language. The first one is Saba. Any idea what Saba might mean? Actually, that's a really good thought that it might mean Sunday or Saturday, like Sabbath. And but but that's it's not in this case. Saba is the Aramaic word for grandpa. Grandpa Saba. So Bartholomew is a grandpa, is a Saba in this story, and we'll we'll see more about that. The other word is Ima. Ima. <laughs> you you no. Ima is the Aramaic word for a mom, or a mother, or a mommy. Ima. You thought it was going to be grandma? Yeah. I don't know what the word for, for grandma is. I'll have to look that up. So, this, when this story begins, Bartholomew is sitting under a fig tree. A yummy fig tree. And he's sitting there, just enjoying a beautiful day. He can smell the fruit. The fruit are all ripe on the tree, and he's just enjoying the day. And he was thinking about Jesus, because he had been a friend of Jesus. And so he was thinking about the time that he had spent with him, when all of a sudden, his, his uh, peaceful time under the tree was interrupted by screaming children. Screaming children, coming towards him, arguing. You hold it. No, you hold it. I don't want to do it. How come we have to do this? And they were going on and on and on and on. And there arrived Matthew with a basket saying, Saba, Saba, Rachel won't hold the basket. And and uh, uh, Saba said, calm, calm down, Matthew. Um, uh, what's the problem? And... Rachel arrived with a real pout on her face. Her lip was sticking out like <laughs> And Daniel, the little brother, arrived. And Daniel said, Saba, Ima, our, our mom, asked us to pick figs for lunch. And Matthew and Rachel are arguing about who gets to climb the tree and who has to hold the basket. And they started arguing again. And Saba said, why don't I tell you a Jesus story? Maybe that will help you sort things out. And they all said, oh yes, please Saba. So Matthew took off the basket and they gathered around their Saba to hear the story. And so he told them this story. Not long before Jesus died, he he was with his followers and he decided he would pray for them. And what he prayed was that he said, God, I have done all the work that you want me to do. I've shown people what God is like. And now these followers need to, to do that same work. And Jesus prayed that we would become one in heart and mind. Well. Bartholomew looked at his grandchildren and realized that they didn't understand what he was talking about. The story was a bit too hard. And then he remembered that actually Jesus' followers had trouble understanding the stories too, and they were adults. So he said, it's like this. Jesus wanted us to keep doing his work, to tell people about God, to help others, but it doesn't work if we're arguing with each other. We need to love one another and work together. And Matthew looked at Saba and said, Saba, 
Picking figs isn't doing Jesus' work. Doing Jesus' work, and then and Seba said, well, maybe it doesn't seem like it, but doing Jesus' work means living like Jesus did. And so he said, what do you think Jesus would do if he were asked to pick figs to share with others? And all the children looked at each other and thought, and Rachel said, well, I guess I can hold the basket. And then Saba said, I have a better idea. I'm the tallest, so I'll hold the basket. And all of you can climb in the tree and pick the figs. And so that's what they did. They climbed in the tree and they picked the figs for lunch. I wonder, I wonder how Saba felt when he saw the children arguing and fighting. So he was probably upset, but that's a good thought that maybe they could have taken turns. I wonder how the children felt about having to do something they really didn't want to do. Really, really, oh, I don't want to do this. Don't let me do this. Kind of whiny and grumpy, right? But, but, but none of us are ever like that. <laughs> I wonder how the children felt about Saba. Yeah, thankfully it was taller. That's always a good thing. I wonder how they felt when they all decided to work together. Great, because then you would pick the big, small, faster, and then you could just pick them up at reference. So I think they learned that sometimes it really helps if we all work together. Like teamwork, yeah. Well, that's our story. We're going to sing a song now about um, Jesus. And I can imagine these children singing that song as they were picking the figs. And uh, so we're going, to, we're going to sing it together. And um, we've got some, this is a song that really needs uh, shakers and tambourines. So we're going to invite you to grab something there. And uh, we're going to sing this a few times through. Ugh, Jesus, we are here. 